I'm using a, a red whisker landscape brush from Blue Hair Arts. And I got some uh, ink here, just a little bit ink with water, and then you start with the foreground using the pushing pushing movement. You either um, push or drag in two ways. Push it, you can uh, go this way from top down, or you can from bottom up. So this is uh, called pushing. And you can use uh, also um, the bottom of the brush to uh, pull. So you can use the bottom, not the tip, to get the rough strokes. This is a single shine. I use the, the tip of the brush to outline. You twist the brush a little bit while you dot to make it a parted split. As the brush is dark, you just do the dark part. So I just use the uh, partial uh, spirit brush to draw outline if needed. I use the bottom of the brush to get the surface texture. Push the brush like that. Now the brush is split again, so you just dot with the split brush. You can use a dotted line, dotted uh, stroke to form a line. Give it different layers with vegetation. A little more distant. So add more water, dry the brush. Make it dry first and then just touch water. So the ink will come down to form grays. See that's the gray and white. Until the, the brush is exhausted, load the water again. So in this technique, the um, wash and the outline is completed in one single process without waiting the ink to dry.
do a little bit distant uh, uh, view bamboo groove. Let's do some more staring. And then just horizontal dots. This is the traditional way of doing it. hanging upside down. Very characteristic of Wang Shan. Then I use a bigger brush to uh, draw some uh, uh, distant mountains first. Very light ink. ocean of cars. Then to define the cars, the mist in the foreground. Just to, you know, twist the brush a little bit, the, the brush would split. This is a deer wolf brush, it's not very stiff, which makes it easier to keep the shape. I like the bear hair or the mountain horse brush. Just add water.
to dry the brush. I will use some clean water to create some uh, more drama here um, to put some uh, light clouds like a uh, uh, pouring like a clouds fall <laughs> we call it like waterfall but clouds come in between two layers of uh, the valley and uh, You see the some part you want to keep it uh, dry just to contrast with the wet so not all the parts bleed. Enough. It's time to take a pause, and uh, you can you can look at uh, from distance, hang on the wall, and uh, um, if not enough, you can always come back. But don't keep working on the paper when the ink are still wet. But some part you want to paint wet and wet, but uh, some dry strokes you want to keep it uh, dry before adding more so let me just find a place to sign it sign on this corner maybe you can also sign along this side someone will sign on this uh, top line it's all possible around this corner here so um, there's no certain rule uh, as long as it uh, looks fine as part of the composition it depends also on the length of the inscription if you like to write a poem, you need more space. You can, you can even write in, be, in the middle of these uh, clouds, as many artists like Shi Tao does. And uh, if you don't use long inscription, you can just write uh, uh, in, in one of the stone, uh, hidden in the stone. I think I will do it on the corner on, on the top. Huang Shan means impression. Impression of a one cent. My signature is a year, the dragon.
to be able to drag it. And here's my little seal. That's it.